Okay, so I'm sitting on my porch and I'm filming this and it's a terrible angle and I, my hair is a mess and I look awful, but I, this has to be said. I, I can't listen to any more of the hashtag take the knee, hashtag I stand for the flag, hashtag blah 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 on Facebook and Twitter and all over social media. It doesn't do anything constructive. It's not constructive for us to argue. It's constructive if it's going to inspire conversation and we can talk about what the real issues are on either side that make people feel so passionately. And I'm all for people being passionately involved in their government and issues that are important to them. But writing angry posts and sharing memes on Facebook doesn't do anything. There are so many things that you could be doing within your own community to really put some weight behind your outrage. I say if you're interested in these issues and you want to see something change, pick up the phone, call your local representative, get involved in your local government. If that's not your thing, go and volunteer. Donate to a food pantry. Here in, in central New York, we have the Veterans Outreach Center. We have Feed the Vets. You can donate your time, donate some food. There are kids that need tutoring within the inner cities. They need mentors. Get involved with something like that. But just stop with the memes and the sharing and the arguing and the fighting. It doesn't do anything. It divides us as a country. It makes us no better off than we were the day before. And it's just, it stresses everybody out. And that sounds so flip, but that's really the truth. We're more stressed out now than we ever were. And it doesn't matter if you're getting enraged at liberals or you're getting enraged at Trump supporters or you're getting enraged for whatever reason it is. The time has come, I think, for us to all stop sharing fake news, real news, memes on Facebook and elsewhere and get to work. And you can start right in your own community in teeny tiny ways. Donate a can of food to a pantry. Spend a little time with somebody who needs your support or help or just friendship. Enough. I can't. So I'm going to try and do some of those things this week and hopefully you will do the same and we can focus on the things that unite us in this nation and what makes America special and what makes America unique among nations and we can stop with all the negativity or at least some of the negativity. Anyway, those are just my thoughts. Let me know what yours are.